so I've just been out for a walk with my dog Bruce and I've been thinking, thinking, thinking that I reckon this is an opportunity to improve your photography skills. There are plenty of things you can photograph at home and let's be innovative and instead of just taking a macro thing in the yard, which we will do anyway, let's make it extra special. Let's learn some new techniques and tricks. So I'm going to take this opportunity to teach you as much as I can. So I've been out into the garden and I've found a few things. First of all, autumn is starting to fall. So I've got together some nice little leaves. So it's actually a length of a length of vine. And I've also got this rather questionable Agapanthus that has seen better days. And I know you're going to say, Jill, surely you're not going to photograph that. Well, I am, sort of. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. It's something like... Eh, can't do it on my phone. Much better on the camera, but I'll show you shortly. Whew. Okay, so this is what I'm looking to do with my vine. I really love these turning leaves. And so what I want to do is fashion them a little bit so that I make a circle. Now the circle, let's take this one, oh no I won't take them out yet. The circle needs to be about the size of your lens in terms of the opening in the front. And it doesn't matter, well, I'm, I'm not going to be too fussy about this. It's only when you come to take the photos that you know where to place the leaves. Okay, so at this stage, I'm just going to trim this bit off here. I've got way too much. And I'm going to trim this bit off here. And even this is going to be too much. But it's going to give me a couple of variations to play with. So, I'm basically looking for a bit of a circle. And I'll arrange my leaves. <sighs> looking for a bit of a circle that I'll be able to see through. So let's see, so let's see what I can do with this. And I've just quickly made a little green one as well with the smaller leaves at the end. So it'll be interesting to see how that works too. Okay, so I have got my Canon 6D2 and my 24 to 70. Doesn't matter what camera you have but that's just for the people who are going to ask. Um, kit lens is fine, kit camera is fine, uh, your phone is fine, but you'll need to ideally to have made your, your ring to be close to the size of your lens. Okay, so first thing is get your exposure right. 
and in this case my model hasn't arrived yet but I'll summon them shortly so just taking a test shot and that looks fine so basically I've got it at um, 1 25th of a second f5.6 and ISO 200 so let's summon the model Quincy come here buddy Sit, sit, sit. Hey, <laughs> he's obedient, isn't he? Come over here, buddy. So people can see. That's it. Okay. Now sit. Good boy. You're a good boy. Okay. You stay. Now the thing is to put your. Hey, back here. Work with animals and children. Take off your lens hood. Stick that in there. Up your head. Good boy. See? Come here, Chris. Good boy. Sit. Okay. Good boy. Stay. Put it up as close to your camera view, as close to your lens as possible. Stay there, buddy. Stay there. Look up. Look at me. Look at me, Drew. You're not going to look at me, are you? No. Stay there. Good boy. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. So, what I'm doing, there's my camera, and I'm holding my leaves up to the camera ring and shooting through them and basically the little hole that is where you want to capture your subject. I'm going to try it with agapanthus and it's going to be a similar sort of thing. I'll be holding it right up to the lens and seeing what purple bits I can get. I might just take this little dead bit out of here. Again you sort of want a bit of a a surround or a framing. Let's see if I can get Bruce back. <laughs> Brucey, come here, buddy. Good boy. Over here. Good boy. Good boy. Now sit. Now I'm sitting the wrong way. But that's okay. We'll get you around the right way in a minute, okay? I'm a good boy. Yes. Maybe I can keep you inside. Okay. Stay there. Stay there. Stay, stay there. No, back here, back here. Sit, come here. Bruce. <laughs> he's just gonna roll in the grass and he's covered. All right, I'm going to pause the video so that at least I can have a bit of a go with this. <laughs> has decided he doesn't really want to be so cooperative, do you Bruce? So <laughs> I'm going to try taking some photos of my little statue there just so that you can see what I'm trying to achieve. I've got a couple of Bruce but he's not very good at staying still and he certainly doesn't like staying still that far away from me. But anyway, let's try Lady Statue.